हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल इन टूडे इज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वन वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ड इन जेई मेन्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू यू विल बी वेरी अमेज टू नो दैट इन नाइंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज ऑल दिस रिसोर्सेज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आर ऑनलाइन एज वेल एज ऑफलाइन इन नाइंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज सॉल्यूशन इज नॉट बींग एक्सप्लेन प्रॉपरली येस and today in this video i am going to give you detailed solution of this question okay let us see this question so this question is of probability this question dictate that if probability that a randomly chosen six digit number formed by using digits 1 and 8 only is multiple of 21 and that probability is small p then we need to find value of 96p this was asked in second shift of 26 june 2022 okay let us do this question one by one you all guys know that we can find probability of any event by simple formula that is m by n where m is number of outcomes favorable to the event and cap small n is number of total outcomes or number of elements in sample space okay so let us try to find values of m and n over here now very first we'll try to find n n is total number of outcomes what is total number of outcomes probability that a randomly chosen six digit number we require one six digit number that is formed by using 1 and 8 now students please type in chat box quickly that if you all want one eight digit number and this eight digit number sorry six digit number 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this eight digit number six digit number is made up of digits 1 and 8 only we have to use only 1 and 8 that means for each and every place we are having only two options so for each and every place if we are having only two options then total number of outcomes will be 2 into 2 into 2 six times which is nothing but 2 to the power 6 you all know that 2 to the power 6 is nothing but 64 so here you know total number of outcomes is 64 now to finish this question we require favorable number of outcomes favorable number of outcomes are the numbers which are multiple of 21 so from this 64 numbers you have to find how many numbers are multiple of 21 now how can we check any number is multiple of 21 or not is 21 a prime number no so if i want to check if any number is multiple of 21 or simply i want to check that that number is divisible by 21 or not so if a number is divisible by 21 that means it must be divisible by 3 as well as it must be divisible by 7 it must be divisible by 3 as well as it must be divisible by 7 so let us check first divisibility of 3 you all know the divisibility rule or divisibility key of 3 right very first i need to find that how many numbers from this all 64 numbers are divisible by 3 now can you type in chat box what is divisibility key of 3 what is divisibility key of 3 quickly type in chat box yes if sum of all digits appearing in the number is divisible by 3 then that number is divisible by 3 now here we are having one six digit number and that six digit number is made up of only 1 and 8 so let us see that which type of combinations or which type of permutations of this 1 and 8 are divisible by 3 okay so very first if i want to take this six digit number can you guys tell me what will be smallest six digit number yes smallest six digit number will be 111111 or not correct so if let us check if this number that is 111111 is divisible by 3 if i find sum of all these numbers 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 6 Six is divisible by three. If it is divisible by three, I will write yes, correct. If it is not divisible, I will cross it. Now, 
Similarly, if we check for largest six digit number students, can you tell me which number is largest six digit number? Which number is largest six digit number? Quickly, please. Largest six digit number is, can I say, eight, 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 eight or not? Because here we have to use digits only one and eight. So largest six digit number is eight, 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 eight. And eight six is forty eight. We know forty eight is divisible by three. Sixteen three is a forty eight. So it is also divisible by three. Now between one lakh eleven thousand triple one and between eight lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight, remaining sixty two numbers will lie. Now for all these sixty two numbers, I have to check. Now how can I check? All these sixty two numbers will comprises of few of them will be one and few of them will be eight. So let us see how many ones and how many eights combinedly can satisfy this rule of divisibility by three, or or how many numbers are divisible by three. Okay, let us see different criteria. So from minimum to maximum, I will try to go. So if I start from one, if I replace this one with eight, that means any numbers, all the six digits numbers which are containing five of the digits as one. And one digit as eight. So if I find, if I try to find sum of all of them, so this is five. Five plus eight, thirteen. Thirteen is not divisible by five. Similarly, now if I reduce one more one, and if I add, if I add one eight instead of that, so this will be one 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 one. These are four. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus four, twenty. And twenty is also not divisible by three. Okay. So let us reduce one more one and replace it with eight. So this one plus one plus one three eight threes are twenty four. Twenty four plus three will become twenty seven. Twenty seven is divisible by three. Similarly, let us check for other possibilities. One one eight 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 fours are thirty two plus two thirty four, and thirty four is not divisible by three. Similarly, if I add one more eight. So eight five is a forty plus one forty one. So similarly, one more option I'll have of forty one. So this is also not divisible by three. So for divisible by three, all the digits should be one, all the digits should be eight, or three of the digits should be one and three of the digits should be eight. Now, if I want to find that how many such numbers are possible, that if I check for this first criteria. This is only one number, the smallest number. This is also one number, largest number. But here, if I want to find how many such numbers are possible, so this I can find by permutation, permuting the six objects in six places. That is six factorial, and three of these six objects are same. Three of these objects are same. Six factorial upon three factorial into three factorial. So if I simplify them, six factorial. Oh, let us simplify this. First, let us write this six factorial upon three factorial into three factorial. So, students, this will become six into five into four into three factorial upon three into two into three factorial. This will get cancelled out. Five fours are will give you twenty. So, you'll get twenty such numbers. Now, so total such numbers which are divisible by three are this is one, this is one, and this type of numbers are twenty. So twenty plus one plus one, we will get as twenty-two. So therefore, twenty-two such numbers are divisible by three. Now again, coming back to question, we had to find how many numbers are divisible by twenty-one. Now to check divisibility of twenty-one, first we check. That how many numbers are divisible by three? So from sixty-four we got that this twenty-two numbers are divisible by three. Now we have to check that how many numbers of these twenty-two numbers are divisible by seven? That we have to check. Now initially I told you one thing that ninety-eight percent of the resources haven't given perfect solution. If you see from this ninety-eight percent of the resources, ninety percent of the resources have given solution like this only. That if it is divisible by three, that finished. They haven't checked for divisibility by seven. 
remaining 8% of the resources have tried to give divisibility criteria of 7 but it is very complicated and there are some solution errors in them now let me explain you what should be the perfect solution now i have to check this 22 numbers for whether they are divisible by 7 or not okay students divisibility key of 7 it is very complicated I'll show you that key as well and we can solve this question without using that key because that key is very complicated. What, what is the meaning of that key? That if any number is divisible by 7 or not, that we can determine. First, we, if any number is given to us, suppose the smallest 6 digit number that we are having 1 lakh 11,100 So, we have to take the last digit. We have to multiply this last digit with 2. 1 into 2 will become 2. We have to take remaining digits. Remaining digits will become 11,111. I have to subtract this 2 from 11,111. So, I will get 11,109. And I have to check whether this 11,109 is divisible by 7 or not. If this is divisible by 7, then this is divisible by 7. Abba, this is very easy. Better if you divide this by directly 7. Yes or no? Please give me some response. Okay. So, let us try to check whether these 22 digit numbers or this sorry 22 numbers all of 6 digits and satisfying this criteria of 1 and 8 are divisible by 7 or not. Let us check. So, very smallest number that we got was 1,11,111. So, students if I divide this by 7 without using this key forget about this key. So, let us divide this with 7. 7 ones are 7, 41. Then 7 5s are 35, 61. Then uh, 7 8s are 56, 51. 7 7s are 49. Then 2 7 3s are 21. So, yes, this number is divisible by 7. So, if I want to check that whether this is divisible by 7. So, the smallest number is divisible by 7. Now, let me check whether this largest number is divisible by 7 or not. Now, can you tell me quickly if this smallest number is divisible by 7, this is also divisible by 7 or not because this itself is multiple of 8 of this smallest uh, uh, possible number. So, if I multiply this number with 8, it is already multiple of 7. So, this will be also multiple of 7. So, from 22, this 1 and 2 have passed this criteria. Now, now, all the remaining 20 digits, now I, I, this will be, means this is highly impossible to check for all the remaining 20 digits, this thing. But all the remaining 20 digits, let us understand their structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this all the possible digits, if you check their structure, here we are having 3 ones and 3 8. This 3, 1 and 3, 8 can be any places, right? They, they can be at any places, but they are having 3, 1 and 3, 8. It is multiple of 3 already. We need to check whether it is multiple of 7 or not. So, let us do one thing. Let me take uh, different numbers of this kind. Suppose I am taking 1, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8. Then I am taking, suppose 1, 1, 8, 8, 1, 8, like that. There may be so many numbers, but for a time being, I am giving you these three examples, okay? Now, observe these three examples. You can take any of them. 1, 1, 1, 8, 8, 8. I have taken this one example. Another example which I have taken was 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8. Yes. 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8. Then I have taken 1, 1, 8, 8, 1, 8. 1, 1, 8, 8, 1, 8. Now, if you see them carefully, understand this carefully, can I write this number says 1, 1, 1 or simply 0, 0, 0, 777 plus 111111. That means just I am removing 111111 from this number. Similarly, this will become 0, 7, 0, 7, 0, 7 plus 111111. Similarly, this will become 0, 0, 7, 7, 0, 7 plus 1,11,000,000. Are you getting my point, students? Please give me some response. Type in comment box quickly. Type in comment box quickly. Type in chat box quickly. Now, I already know that this 1,11,000,000,000 is divisible by 7. This is already divisible by 3. I already know that this is divisible by 7. Now, 
can you guys just tell me whether this number is divisible by 7 or not can you guys tell me whether this number is divisible by 7 or not can you guys tell me whether this number is divisible by 7 or not obviously yes this number is also divisible by 7 if two numbers which are divisible by 7 as well as divisible by 3 and whether and definitely this is divisible by 3 as well yes or no because 7 plus 7 plus 7 21 already you have taken all these 20 numbers are divisible by 3 only so can you tell me this number plus this number combinedly this will be divisible by 7 or not definitely because i can take 7 common from both of them can i say all this 20 numbers not 20 digits can i say all these 20 numbers can be written in this manner because all these 20 numbers are going to contain 3 1 and 3 8 at different places and if you are going to take six ones common from it you are going to have 3 0 and 3 7 at different places and whatever how many numbers you can create with these three zeros and three seven all these are going to be divisible by seven only so moral of the story all these 20 numbers are divisible by seven so from 62 we came to one number that 22 numbers are divisible by three now we conclude that all these 22 numbers are divisible by 7 as well. So that means these 22 numbers are divisible by 7 and 3 both. These 22 numbers are divisible by 21. So these 22 numbers are divisible by 21. This probability is given to us as small p. So small p is equal to 22 by 64. If I simplify, 11 twos are 22, 32 twos are 64. They want us to write value of 96 p. So if you multiply this with 96, 96p. So 96 into 11 by 32. So 32 threes are 96. 3 into 11 will give you 33. So 96p, the final answer of this question is 33. Hope you understood this. Easy everyone. You, you are not going to get this much level of easy explanation at 98% of the resources. We are the very first to provide this. And similarly, in future, if you want solution of this type of problems in which you are struggling lot and lot, then type in comment box. We'll provide you solutions of this type of problems. Till then, wish you all the best. Keep rolling higher and higher in your preparations of J mains and J advanced. Wish you all the best. Bye, everyone.